Hey everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you my favorite free document scanning app that works on both iPhone and Android. It's called Microsoft Lens. So what do I like about this app so much? Well, first off, it's completely free, but it also produces exceptional looking document scans. Along with scanning documents, you can use it to extract the text from a document. You could even have it read the document to you and you can use it for other things like taking a photo of a whiteboard, a business card, or just standard photos if you wanna use some of the inbuilt filters. All right, let's jump on the phone and first off, I'll show you how you can get this app. Today, I'm using an iPhone, but once again, this works on either an iPhone or on an Android phone. To get the Microsoft Lens app on an iPhone, open up the App Store and on an Android phone, open up the Play Store. Within the store, search for Microsoft Lens and you should see a result here for Microsoft Lens. If you don't have the app yet, go ahead and either get it or install it. And once you have it, click on open. Once you finish installing the Microsoft Lens app, go ahead and launch the app. That'll drop you on the main screen here. And right now it's prompting us to capture a document or basically scan a document. That's the default view down below. Find a document and then aim your phone at that document. And right here, I have a letter from the publication Nerd Monthly. This is one of my life's accomplishments. I've always wanted to be featured in this publication. So I wanna make sure I preserve this moment by scanning in this document. Now right here, I'll aim my phone at the text and then I'll click on the white button to capture it. This has now scanned my document. I can see it right here. On this screen, I can crop my image. So there's a little bit of extra space on the bottom. Here I could drag the bottom up if I just wanna tighten things up just a little bit. Now overall, this looks pretty good. So I'll click on confirm. Here now I have a preview of what my document looks like. And down below on the bottom, I can add additional pages to my scan. And to the right of that, I also have a set of filters. Let me click on that to see what we can do. This opens up filters over here. Here you'll see if I click on none on the left hand side, this is just what a standard picture would have looked like on your phone. And over here we have all of these different filters we can choose from. Now the document one produces really nice results. When I click on that, it really cleans up the background of this document. This is now a pretty high quality scan. Here I could go through and look at a few of the other ones, but I think document works the best. Next, I'll minimize this. Back on the main controls, I could also click down on more, and here I have some additional tools. I could also rotate the document. Here I could even ink on the document, or I could add text on top of it. Now, I don't wanna change this document at all. I think it's pretty much just perfection as is. I'll click up here to minimize those controls. Now I'm all ready to go, so I'll click on done. This now brings me to the export screen and right at the top, I can title my document scan. Here, I'll just call it Nerd Monthly. Down below, I could also choose how I wanna save this. I could save it directly to the photo library on my phone. I could save it as a PDF. Here, I could save that on my phone or I could put it directly onto OneDrive. If I go back, I could save it to these different apps, and then I could also decide if I wanna share it. I could send it in email, and there's also something really cool called Immersive Reader, where this app will read the document to you. Let's take a quick peek to see how that works, and let's click on this. This drops me into the Immersive Reader, and check this out. It's taken all of my text in the document, and it's extracted it from the document, and I can now have the app read this document to me. If I go down to the settings gear on the bottom, I can choose if a female reads to me or a male. Now, I prefer having a female voice read to me. Right up above, I could also select the voice speed. That all looks good and let's test this out. I'm gonna click on the play icon. Dear Kevin, we are big fans of you here at Nerd Monthly. We are so impressed by your tech videos on YouTube and your fine representation. And check that out. It reads the document to me. How cool is that? Let's go back to the previous screen. Back on the previous screen, I'll simply save my document to my photo library. And here now I can see a very high quality document scan in my files. Back on the main screen of the app, I could also capture documents from other sources. Right over here, I can click on this icon to access all of the media on my device. This drops us in the media view, and here you can see all of the photos on your phone. 
So let's say, for example, that maybe you took a photo of a document just using your phone and you'd like to apply some of the Microsoft Lens filters to it. You can still select that photo and then run it through the filters. And here looking at my pictures, you probably noticed that my son is sitting here in a digger. Now, my son kept asking me again and again for a digger, so as a good dad, I caved in and I got him a digger. Back on the main screen, you can also capture other sources. Here, for instance, you can capture a whiteboard image, and there are some filters specific to a whiteboard. Moving to the right, there are also different actions. Here, for instance, you can extract text from a document, and you could even extract data from a table. Let's test out extracting text from this document. Let's click on this button right here. This once again takes a photo of the document. This looks good, so I'll click on confirm. And here we see that it's now extracting the data from this document. Let's see how this turns out. And check that out. Here's my document, and here's all of the text that it extracted from that document. Now, overall, it did a pretty good job. It didn't quite get the signature on the bottom, but I wouldn't expect it to. That's a little bit more of a difficult font to capture. I can now copy this text and I could text it, I could email it, or I could share it with any other application. Back on the main screen, I could also capture images of business cards and also just standard photos if I wanna apply the different filters. Now, let's say I wanna see some of the files or some of the documents that I've captured. Up here in the top right-hand corner, there's an ellipsis. When I click on this, I could launch into my files. And here within my files, I can see all of my different captures. To share a document that I've already worked on and I have saved in my files, I can click on the file and right here, I can then share the file with anyone. If you like the Microsoft Lens app, you'll also really like another app made by Microsoft called Microsoft Office. This is another free app and it has all of the capabilities that we just looked at in Microsoft Lens. Here, for example, I'm now in the Office app, and when I click on this plus icon, here we see Lens, and this has all of the same tech that we just saw in the standalone Microsoft Lens app. But along with all of the Lens capabilities, you can also create Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Forms directly in this app. And down below, you also have access to all of these different actions that go above and beyond Microsoft Lens. So why would you ever get Lens compared to the Microsoft Office app? Well, this is a heavier weight app. You have more functionality, so it's also going to take up more space. So if you really just need the document scanning capability, the Microsoft Lens app will do just fine. But if you want that functionality plus a little bit extra, I'd recommend just getting the Microsoft Office app. All right, well, hopefully you were able to scan in one of your documents. If you were, please give this video a thumbs up. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Also, if you wanna see me cover any other topics on this channel, leave a note down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.